Today I'd like to do a video featuring my updated Daddy Diaper Bag version 2.0. This one is designed to be used for babies that are zero to six months, so basically not mobile and not eating solid food, so only liquids. So a lot of the times the moms will be the ones that will design the diaper bags, but usually over time they eventually become kind of like a, a purse uh, diaper bag hybrid, and that doesn't work for us guys. So I wanted to make sure I had a dedicated diaper bag. I call it the Daddy Diaper Bag, but it could use, be, be used for both uh, dads and moms, and it kind of took the whole modular approach for it. So let's get started with this video now featuring the Daddy Diaper Bag version 2.0. I like going with a single strap sling bag for my diaper bags just because it allows me to have both hands free. I can still carry a backpack if needed and generally they're a little bit smaller than what you would have with more of a uh, laptop style uh, sling bag. So this one is featuring the Maxpedition Jumbo VersaPack. The Maxpedition Jumbo VersaPack is the perfect size for a daddy diaper bag. It's not too big, but not too small. It has a main storage area. You also have a water bottle area over here. Uh, it comes in multiple color choices and variations. Uh, it's usually always in stock. It's reasonably priced, especially when you compare it to some of the more uh, deluxe, dedicated diaper bags. It's just And it's just built extremely well. I've had this one for about five years now. It's just a little dirty, but as far as the quality of it, it's still running strong. So for this daddy diaper bag review, let's just go through all the uh, pockets that are on the outside here and then in the main storage area. In prepping, we often talk about the big three being food, water, and shelter. All emergency preparedness kits will include those main items. And with diaper bags, you also have the big three and that's gonna be diapers, wipes, and milk. All diaper bags should include those big three items. Everything else is secondary and those big three will be highlighted in this version of the daddy diaper bag. As always, I've created a PDF document that you could download by clicking the link in the description box below. And this PDF document has a detailed description of everything that's included in this version of the Daddy Diaper Bag, along with comments, price, uh, the type of item that it is. I have the big three organized by bold. And then if you click on any of the links over here, it'll send it to where I actually purchased it from. So that might be Amazon or Baby's or or anything like that. So make sure you download that PDF document in the description box. In the water bottle storage area of the Jumbo Versa Pack, we have one of those big three items, and that's for milk. So as you can see on the top here, we have our milk bottle. This one's made by Tommy Tippy. It's the Tommy Tippy five ounce milk bottle. This has been the best one that we've tested so far. Uh, Kid Prepper, uh, formerly Baby Prepper, uh, loved it, and it's also gonna be used for Baby Prepper version 2.0. So the Tommy Tippy five ounce milk bottle, and it comes in a pack of three. Uh, to go along with that, this one's made by Medela. This is the Medela uh, breast milk collection and storage bottles. They're five ounce. Uh, it comes in a multi-pack uh, with uh, uh, breast pumps. They're, uh, most of the best ones are made by Medela. And this is just the storage uh, milk bottle that goes along with it. And it comes in a pack of six. So again, this is another five ounce one. So we have a total of 10 ounces uh, in the daddy diaper bag. And that's everything that's included in this water bottle storage pocket. In this top pocket of the Jumbo Versa pack, I have uh, items for hand sanitizing. Just actually just one items in there. And it's made by uh, Baby Genix. It's the Baby Genix uh, alcohol-free foaming hand sanitizer. Uh, if you're, especially when you're dealing with kids, uh, you don't always want to give them the alcohol-based ones. And so uh, we have this one that's alcohol-free. It's a foaming hand sanitizer. So it looks a little bit different. It looks like that. So it's more of a foam, uh, but there's no alcohol in it, so it won't irritate any skins. And that's all I have in that top pocket area. So again, this is for quick access. Anyone that's gonna hold the baby and might have their hands a little dirty, you wanna make sure that they clean them off with this foam sanitizer. In this front zipper pocket area, just have a single item in there. So open it up real quick. And we have, you guessed it, Another mini Medi, and this one's one of the beefed up versions uh, made possible by the Mountain RN. Has uh, some of the aqua gel, aqua gel in there, and also some of the uh, modern wound dressings in there. And this is also using a lock sack, so it's a nicer uh, Ziploc bag than the previous ones that I was using. So, a mini Medi, first aid kit. This version of the Daddy Diaper Bag is for zero to six months. So past six months, that's when you start introducing solid foods. And I normally have this particular pocket dedicated to more solid food and uh, jarred uh, baby food. Uh, but right now I have additional items in here. I'll, I'll be making a revision to the Daddy Diaper Bag uh, for six months and greater. So let's just open it up really quick. I have some additional items in here that aren't food related. So the first item that we have in here, uh, it's made, again made by uh, Baby Janix. It's the mineral-based sunscreen. Uh, babies have very sensitive skin. You wanna make sure you can protect it. Uh, this is a tear-free version. Again, this is made for uh, newborns, infants, and it's a SPF 50. So we have some sunscreen. 
Next, uh, this is probably one of my favorite items to purchase. Uh, this one, we have some butt paste. That's right, original butt paste. It's a diaper rash ointment. Uh, I forget how to pronounce the brand, uh, but it, it, this is a, a really good stuff, and it uh, just it works really well for prepping. You can use all the prepping slogans. Uh, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Pick up your butt paste, or uh, watch your six. Pick up butt paste. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is got good stuff. You never know when you're going to have a diaper rash, and you want to be prepared for that. So uh, this is a highly regarded brand. And then uh, last, I have uh, just some uh, baby nail clippers in here. This is the, the monkey version. So some uh, nail clippers, very tiny, but a lot smaller than the ones that, that adults would use. So some nail clippers. These nail clippers are made by Sassy. It's the Sassy Soft Grip Nail Clippers. Uh, the reason why you want to have nail clippers is that uh, uh, babies often have, they get sharp fingernails and they're, they, they're prone to scratch their face uh, as they're wiping uh, their face or scratching or anything like that. And you'll often find, oftentimes find uh, scratch marks on there. So you want to make sure that the uh, nails are uh, nice and trim. The back storage area of the Jumbo Versa Pack is usually dedicated for a concealed carry weapon, uh, but I don't have one of those in here. Instead, I have another one of the big three, so opening it up, we have our wipes. So uh, these, this is this particular storage container is made by OXO. It's the OXO uh, Tot On The Go Travel Wipes Dispenser. And it's a real nice one. It has a nice little uh, handle here, or not a handle, but you could attach it to the side of the bag, for example, if you want to have quick access to it. It has a little button here to help uh, open it up. Let's see if I can get it. And then uh, we like using uh, the Costco Kirkland brand uh, unscented wipes. And so it's just filled with that. You could stock it up and uh, keep it nice and filled like that. So I'm just going to open it up. Uh, let's see. This one. See if I can get it. There we go. And we have our wipes in there. So the OXO travel wipes. Then the next item, it's kind of more of a specialty item, but I find that it comes in uh, handy all the time. Uh, and this one is actually, it's called uh, the mommy hook. And it's just a big carabiner, as you can see. You know, you don't want to go grappling with this thing. Uh, but this is designed for when you're carrying a baby and carrying your diaper bag and you're going shopping or whatever. Uh, it basically attaches to uh, like shopping carts and things like that. And if you want to hang additional uh, bags, if you're shopping like for groceries or if you're at the mall, uh, you kind of put this on the shopping cart. It's going to close like that. And then you could either you could hang the, di the diaper bag on there uh, like so or you could uh, hang uh, shopping bags or grocery bags, anything like that. It's just kind of an extra set of hands uh, to help carry your stuff. So this is made by the Mommy Hook. And that's all the items that I have in the concealed carry storage area of the Jumbo Versapack. Now that we've gone through all the external pocket areas, let's go through the main storage area of the Jumbo Versapack Daddy Diaper Bag. So let's open it up. And let's just start off with, first with this little pocket over here. I'm missing the little zip tie on it, but that's okay. So just a few more things in here. Uh, so I try not to have too much uh, like my own personal EDC items and things like that gear. There's, so there's no knives or fire starters or anything like that. Uh, but I did uh, include, this is made by RAF Power. It's just a, a RAF Power external battery. And so you're able to charge your USB devices. I just think it's important to be able to keep your cell phone charged at all time. And I have a, a USB micro cable on the bottom of the bag there. Uh, but in this one also has a flashlight on one end so you could turn it, turn it on like that. And then just in case you you're, you not have your flashlight on it, you'd have a, both the external battery and a flashlight with you. Again, this one's made by RAF Power. It costs probably around $10 or so, and it comes in handy. So we have the external battery slash uh, flashlight. Just leave that on for now. Uh, next again by Baby Janix. This is the Baby Janix Natural Insect Repellent. Uh, again, with babies, you, want, you kind of have to have specialized things. This is deep free, and uh, it's just a 100% natural type of... Uh, insect repellent. So for the summer seasons, if you're in, at an outdoor fair or anything like that or festival, uh, this could come in handy. Let's, let's con continue on. Now you saw that we had the alcohol-free uh, hand sanitizer. I also have some Purell with alcohol uh, hand sanitizer and that's for more of the adults so I don't have to waste all the foaming one which is a little bit more expensive. So some normal hand sanitizer. Uh, next, this one's made, let's see, it's the Arm & Hammer, it's basically a disposable bags for uh, diapers. So if you don't want to stink up the place that you're at, you just, uh, it's kind of like a, uh, for dogs when you're walking your dogs too, you have a very similar concept. It's just small little uh, plastic bags that you put the dirty diaper in, uh, tie it up, and you're not going to be stink smelling it all the time. So you can either store it in the daddy diaper bag or just toss it uh, at a later time. So, and this comes with the refill too, and, and the bags are made by Arm & Hammer. Also included in the front pocket area is just a small USB micro cable to go along with the external battery. Now let's start going through all the items in the main compartment area. Opening it up, 
We have a little entertainment item, or morale item. Uh, we have a Minnie Mouse, little plush doll that shakes, has a little bell in there. Uh, just a small size one. Uh, we come from a family that likes her Mickeys, and a Baby Prepper version 2.0 is gonna have a Minnie Mouse. So, one Minnie Mouse doll. Uh, next, we have our first of our modules. Uh, this bag is made by a Light Height Gear. It's an ultralight uh, stuffed sack. It's in tan. Uh, tan was the closest thing I could find to brown because brown represents shelter for my <laughs> uh, prepping modules. And so let's open up this item really quick. So in that stuff stack, we have a few items in here. Uh, the first one is, uh, they're both made by Gerber. This is the Gerber uh, Girls Newborn uh, Flannel uh, Receiving Blanket. And this is used for uh, multiple reasons. You could use it as a swaddle for wrapping up your baby. Uh, you could use it as kind of a, when you're on the changing table, if you don't want them laying on a changing table, you could just uh, uh, lay that out. And it also could serve as a backup blanket, even though most babies have a blanket. Blanket is part of their EDC, a more warmer blanket, but just a single receiving blanket. And then the next item that we have here, it's kind of like a cloth diaper. It's also made by Gerber. It's the, it's the heavyweight gauze uh, pre-fold. And uh, this is more of like a burp cloth. And it comes, this is for all the nasty, uh, you know, milk spills, you know, and you kind of throw up, that kind of stuff. Uh, you wipe it up with this, uh, bleach it. It works. It's awesome. Make sure you get the heavyweight version. And those are all the items that I store in the Light Heart Gear Tan Stuff Sack. For the final big three item, we have our diapers. So here's our diaper module. Uh, it's using an Eagle Creek uh, packet storage cube. This is the Spectre kind. And uh, so it, this is actually, it kind of has like a, almost like a waterproof type material on it. Inverted zipper designs, and I include these with all my kits, these kind of uh, quarter cubes. And we just have some diapers in here. We prefer using uh, the Pampers Swaddler uh, diapers. It has the little uh, yellow thing here. So if it if they peed, it turns blue, and it's really handy. So uh, guys, you want to remember for, you want to have a diaper for every hour you plan on being out. So I think there's around eight in here or so. Uh, but just uh, the diaper module. Continuing on, we have our next module. In there. Another Eagle Creek packet storage cube, also Spectre. This is in color beet. Uh, this is our clothing module. Let's open it up really quick. In the clothing module, I usually carry two extra outfits. I'll usually have one onesie similar to this, and then I also have more of a sleeping uh, type outfit. And this is the one that kind of has the easy open bottom area uh, for quick diaper changes. Uh, you want to have a couple of different uh, outfits with you because the uh, baby's going to spit up a lot of stuff. Going to make some messes. You want to make sure you have a change of clothes. And then I also have uh, a nice hat or a warm hat, and then also some socks for the sleeping outfits to keep the feet cold. And those are all the items that I store in the clothing module. I just have one remaining module in the bottom of the Daddy Dapper bag. Let's pull it out really quick. This one's made by Little Remedies. It's the Little Remedies Parents Survival Kit. Let's open it up really quick. The Little Remedies Parents Survival Kit is really nice because it has all of these supplies in here. You could buy all these individually, which I have before, uh, but if you get it in this kit, it's uh, a lot more affordable. And it has all, it's kind of like my little travel pharmacy for babies. Uh, so on this bottom section here, I have uh, some of like the measuring type of devices in here, little uh, droplet things. Also have the little booger sucker type thing. And then you have a, a chart over here that shows the various uh, quantities for all of the medicine up here. Let's take a quick look now at all these particular items. Starting here on the left, we have some decongestant nose drops. Uh, next, we have some gripe water, which is used for things like hiccups, uh, colic, stomach discomfort. Uh, we have some saline spray and drops, uh, also for uh, noses, things like that. Uh, we have some gas relief drops. And uh, last, we have uh, infant fever and pain uh, reliever. Uh, so all of these are good for all ages, except for on the, uh, the far left, the, the de uh, decongestant nose drops is for ages two through four. Uh, everything else is all ages, and you even have some infant support here. That concludes all the items that are included in this version of the Daddy Diaper Bag. Again, this one's designed specific for babies that are between zero and six months, uh, basically babies that are not really that mobile and that are just drinking liquids. They're not any kind of solid foods. So after six months, I'll be uh, optimizing this one for babies that are a little bit mobile and also eating solid foods, although it'll be pretty similar to what you see here. Again, I've created a PDF document that you could download by clicking the link in the description box below. It has a list of everything that's included in here, uh, where you could purchase them at, how much it costs, the reason why I included it. Uh, so make sure you download that PDF document in the description box. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video featuring the Daddy Diaper Bag version 2.0. Please leave your comments below in the comments section. I'll probably be doing an update to this particular kit uh, from 6 to 12 months from now once she moves over to solid food. Special thanks to Baby Prepper version 2.0 for helping out with this video. See you guys next time.